Yeah? Okay. Unless it's the microphone that's not like amazing. That is a possibility. Uh, let me see. Can I make this better? Well, I guess if you can... It's picking you up. Okay, great. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, so basically... I would want to make this character here. I started from like a meta-human base and I want to try to basically animate uh, kind of like a creature with meta-human. So I want to see like if it does work because I only tried with, you know, the base mesh of a meta-human with someone that's looking human. So... Yeah, I'm excited to try it out and see like if I can add the fur and all the clothing details, like how it's gonna be like. So yeah, and I'm at the very early stage right now, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm still sort of like exploring what I want to do with it. Um, Cause yeah, I, I guess you couldn't hear me previously, but uh, what what was I gonna say? Well, I'm talking and I just forget what I want to say. Anyways. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. My god. I just realized. I think this was made with AI. So I kind of realized that afterwards, like after making the whole research of like the different pieces and how I'm going to make it. But you know what? I'm still going to do it because this concept sort of like caught my eye. So why not? <laughs> All right, so what is wrong here? We have, oh, I see. So right now, I can see a ton of folds here and it's because this is much longer than this. I don't know how I did that, but let's just fix this. Wow, not that much, thank you. Let's resize a bit. And thank you. Yeah, hopefully it's gonna give me something interesting in the end. Uh, I also don't do creatures much, so I thought that this would be an interesting project to try it all out, you know? Okay, let's create some sort of tapered floating like here, because it seemed to go, how can I say, it? like tighter here? in this area, so let's try. Good. Okay, let's try this out. So actually, I don't know if I've ever said this, but Marvelous Designer is my least <laughs> favorite part of the process, just because it's such a like hit or miss for me like i need to figure out like how i'm gonna do the pattern and stuff and you know i'm not a a sewer like i don't a sewer i don't know i'm not like a designer so i don't know how patterns are usually made to make sense but yeah okay i'm gonna add some internal lines here because I want some elastics on these pants. Let's 
So Kain Su. Yes, new personal project. Let's see how long <laughs> I can keep up with it. All right, let's cut this. Actually, what about you guys? Did you start any new projects, 3D projects? It took me such a long time before figuring out that I wanted to do a character like this. Because every time for me, the big question, like before moving on to a new project is like, what do I want to learn? Like, what do I want to show in my portfolio? And so I get like so indecisive before getting started. Uh, okay, wait, just gonna make this thinner. Like so. All right, not bad. Sort of like not liking how the fabric is going on right now. And I don't know if it's because... Okay, 10 particle distance is not too bad. Hmm. Maybe it's just... The fabric that's being used right now. Let's see. It looks pretty puffy here. I'm gonna try to make this a little bit less puffy. Fair, I started projects a lot. After work, I'm just super tired, need like pre-workout to sit down and work on a new project. Yeah, I get that. For me, to be honest, it's mostly to get started on a new project. Like once I have it like pretty, you know, well started, like once I have a good start on it, I usually get more motivated. But the beginning is pretty hard because you don't know where it's going, you don't know if you're gonna like it and all of that, so... Oh shit! I'm gonna bring this up a bit. Okay, not bad. I don't know if I like this fold here or if I preferred it before. Actually, I think I read somewhere that if you tell yourself that you're gonna do 10 minutes, like just even just 10 minutes, you'll end up doing more. So you could do that as a trick. I don't know if it works. Um, but, or I wonder, I don't know if you guys are like people that wake up super early but maybe you could wake up earlier to work on your project so you'll have the energy and then afterwards you can start work but you know if it's like 5 a.m then i can understand <laughs> that you wouldn't want to do that okay this is giving him pretty long legs okay i'm gonna try and see if I select everything here and try to give him another type of fabric, what type of result can this give me? Okay, I'm just gonna save this actually. Uh, let's see here, box, marvelous. Sorry, here. I don't know why I write all of this. I could just write MD. There you go. Fox underscore zero one. <laughs> also, the trick for me with Marvelous Designer is I usually save every time I have some sort of different result uh, just so that I can go back on my previous versions. Okay, let's see. Can I just scroll? Yeah, cool. Okay, so I'm just using my down arrow to go through the different fabrics and see if they're gonna give me different results. Because I feel like right now it looks like super puffy and I don't know that I'm a fan of it. Oh, interesting. Cotton stretch. Oh shit, what happened? Okay. 
Sorry, I'm like, sorry a lot. Okay. So this is not bad. But I'm missing all of my fulls now, but... It is giving me more of the result that I wanted, especially on the top here. Okay, let me just continue. So I was here. And I'm just gonna continue clicking on that little arrow here. Uh, interesting. Hmm. Interlining acetate. Okay. Let's continue. What is this one? Knit cotton. Uh, is this will be recorded to first to one list talks about Q character? I want to watch again for study. Oh yeah. Okay. So I actually yes, I did record the uh, entire process of like from the beginning for, for this character i was going live but i was going i was actually going live um how can i say like private privately so nobody could watch them uh essentially because first of all i wanted to get this character started oh i'm talking and i'm not even looking at the results but yeah basically because um, I wanted to, you know, get started with the character and see, like, you know, if I'm actually liking where this is going. Uh, but yeah, part one and two are recorded. And basically, I'm thinking of making them available for my Patreon or something. I'm not sure yet. But if you guys like would like me to see do the entire character live i would actually love to do that um yeah i think also something that helps is that because before i was streaming on twitch and i was putting my face and i feel like <laughs> that was distracting me from the actual sculpting i don't know how to say it's like you're thinking about like oh my god people see me it's like I have to be entertaining but I feel like right now like without putting my face I don't have to think too much you know I'm just focusing on making this while wow, this is ugly yeah the music is good I mean it's kind of hard to find non copyrighted music that's you know interesting to listen to but if you do have suggestions <laughs> would be happy to hear it Okay, so I feel like those fabrics are a bit heavier. Sherpa fleece. This one's also interesting. But it is pretty harsh. So, you know, I don't like when it's like too wobbly everywhere. Let's see. Here. This is too loose, we're losing all of our details. Not too bad. I think I'm probably gonna go back with, oh, hmm. But again, we're losing so much details. This is, this is, okay, this is looking interesting. But, hmm, I don't know. Mm, okay, I'm gonna save this for now, version two, and I'll go back to this version afterwards. Regarding what you said about starting a project, there's a study which seems to indicate the most efficient ratio of work versus break is 25 5 25 minutes of full focused work for a quick 5 minute break 
interesting. Promoter rule. <clears throat> I guess I did hear about that before. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I feel like for me, personally, I'm not able to just... If I stop, I feel like that usually breaks my flow, if that makes sense. So I usually like to, you know, um, I say you know, but I don't think you know. I, I usually like to stay focused for a while and do my work if I'm focused. And then if I get tired, then that's when I usually stop and I just go for a walk or something. Unless I'm doing it wrong, that's a possibility too. Okay, you know what? For his pants, I'm gonna leave them like this for now. They are annoying me because I'm not sure of the shape that I want to do here. And I think that I'm gonna start his shirt. And so for his shirt, could I put some kind of reference here? Um, let's see. Okay, let's go ahead with a t-shirt. I'm gonna add it. And actually, I'm gonna freeze all of that. Sometimes what I do all together is I just delete the different part of a character. Like, let's say here with the pants, I would delete them entirely and sort of like save the shirt in an entirely new scene because sometimes Marvelous Designer is a bit slow and there's like too many patterns I uh, don't remember where I read it exactly but I tried it out and it's surprisingly effective or maybe it's just a placebo effect interesting does walk help to give energy? bro Catch me outside every day. <laughs> what? <laughs> every day, is the, if that's the truth. Uh, yeah, for me, it does help a lot, actually. Walking. I feel like... I don't know. Because, well, definitely staying inside for me doesn't do it because... I don't know, like, maybe it's the recycled air <laughs> or something. I'm not a scientist, but... Um, for me, it's like, I don't like just breathing the same air. So I need to get out, I need to change my mind, I need to see other things. And usually also when I go on the walk, cause I, okay, I always try not to think about my work, but obviously I always end up thinking about it. And sometimes it makes me figure out some stuff. Like, I remember, with the Metha Human that I did of KSI I was like walking when I finally like realized like oh my gosh I could use this technique or this plugin or whatever and and then I came back and I was able to you know use the information to help me create the character okay now why are you doing this to me? Right. Oh, I see why. Stop. Okay, you come here, please. Stay here. Thank you. All right. So the way I'm thinking of doing his shirt, sort of like a Jedi. So I should actually open this front thing. Let's see. I can do. Oh, it's here. Delete suing. And there we go, we have an opening. And then what I'm thinking of doing is have like one shirt like this. Like, let's see, I have like one shirt like this. And then if I have another shirt like that. I don't know if that would look good actually. Because a lot of the detail is hidden by this big ass <laughs> cape. Hmm. Yeah. But I feel like it would be interesting to keep his 
like tiny waist his frame is really small so i think that would be interesting to keep uh yeah so i think i'm gonna make his shirt actually less wide yeah i like this better already cute Hi, how to convert metahuman rig to custom metha you myth oh my god, can I read? How to convert metha human rig to custom character rig with body weight. Okay. Uh how do you do that? I personally use Metapipe 2. There's a free version of it. And yeah, I'm using it to transfer all the attributes and stuff. Because basically, meta human, the way they work is. How can I say? They need a DNA that's like transferring all the information for your rig to work, which is something I only learned about like super recently. Okay, I kind of like this cut, like super tiny waist and then big ass pants. And yes, I was saying like a cape. <laughs> Because he has like a super long cape here. Uh, did we get rid of all the free news channel spam invites in the Discord server? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is a problem because I am so not active on Discord at all because I'm just bad at being online altogether. So. I don't know if that's a good thing, but if I'm being honest, like very recently, I was thinking of closing the Discord because I just cannot manage it at all. Like I'm very bad at managing it, as you can see, because like you said, there are nudes and I was trying to block them and I wasn't able to. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to see what I'm going to do with that Discord. Maybe I'm just going to make it as a private group maybe for people to i don't know like maybe from the channel if they subscribe or something like that i'm not sure yet but the fact that anyone can access it and that i don't know how to manage it i think makes it kind of difficult for me okay so let's say we have something like this and basically what i do here i'm not even gonna go any further with this design i'm just gonna bring it inside of uh, ZBrush and I'm gonna continue sort of like doing the block out because at this point I don't really care how it all looks how the fold looks I'm sort of like more so looking at the silhouette and yeah so floating I'm gonna continue building on top of that thin blah 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 yes okay let's go back here and then let's import this. Whoa, clothing. I know there's great re resources. That's the problem. That's why I'm trying to figure it all out. Like, like I said, the the only solution that came to my mind is if I make it sort of uh, exclusive. You know. Um. Yeah, because the fact that it's so easy to access it with a link, I feel like is, yeah, not great. Split, hidden, okay, and then I'm just going to merge the vertices here. Modify topology, well points, all right. Okay. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, do you have mods? So, <coughs> sorry. I think I do, but they probably are not active as well. It's been a long time since I've had this um, this Discord channel, so and I can't really blame them at all. Like, I'm not even active on this group, so how can I expect them to be? You know. Okay, let's bring this with our character and see how it looks. Okay, so it's normal that there's some sort of 
Oh. Okay, there's a little bit of an offset here. That's not too bad. I've had worse. Go here. And this here. Okay. Okay, so let's say this is the overall look. Now I'm just gonna basically move, whoa. Move everything around. And yeah, test things out basically. See what works, what doesn't. And like I said, I don't really care about folds and details at this point. I'm just like trying to figure out like what the silhouette will be like. So here you see how like rounded this is? This is not cool. So I'm gonna try to make this a bit more pointy. And, hmm. I don't know if I should make long sleeve like this or something maybe shorter. This is weird too. Hey, thank you for joining, Josh. Yeah, I'm trying out streaming. Uh, like I said a little bit earlier, I'm trying without my face. Because <laughs> when I was streaming on Twitch, that was very distracting to me. Um, maybe like every, I don't know how much time I could like Put it on and just talk and stuff. Uh, I'll figure out how I'm gonna do these streams actually. Maybe I'll talk less sometimes so I can focus more on the design and maybe sometimes I'll talk more. <laughs> Let's see if I make this bigger. Thank you. Hardware question. How much RAM are you using? 64 gigs. By the way, my custom ZBrush UI looks very similar to yours. Oh, nice. Um, how much RAM am I using? I do think I have 64. Uh, but I used to like do ZBrush stuff with less than that. Uh, so I'm pretty sure you could, you know, manage with less than 64 RAM. God damn, what am I doing? Okay, let's fix all of that. Okay. Oh, by the way, for those who just came in, this is what I'm trying to block out right now. So not going too much in details. I'm just trying to figure out the overall shape of everything. And actually, now that I look at it, the ears, <laughs> the ears needs to be bigger. I don't know if I should focus on that right now, but anyways. <coughs> I don't know, stream, so cool, yes. Gotta go, please, looking good. Thank you so much. Uh, love your KSI, please, super cool character. Thank you so much, Josh. I really appreciate it. I love all of your characters as well. Love. Uh, very inspiring stuff that you do, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm trying to do a creature. I've never really done a creature before. So, and I started off with a method human. Uh, because I do want to try and animate it afterwards. Okay, now for the gloves. Let's try and figure out how I'm going to do this. Any plans to stream games on Twitch? Um, I don't think so, if I'm being honest. I used to stream games on Twitch, but then I realized that... I wasn't having that much fun with it, except if it was The Last of Us. <laughs> That's the only game that I truly enjoyed streaming. So yeah, maybe if there's a Last of Us Part 3, <laughs> I would stream it. But for now, not really. Okay, let's delete. And okay, so usually when I'm like extracting shapes from my character, I always like to delete any sorts of 
um, thickness. Okay, let's see. It's a bit longer here. If you like. Thanks so much for the kind words. Really love your work too. Super inspiring stuff. Thank you so much. I guess you're, we're all inspiring each other. <laughs> That's uh, how we continue, continue making art. Recently, I don't know why I was getting so stressed out when going on Instagram. Like, because you know when you open your Instagram every day and you see so many amazing artists creating amazing artworks. It sort of like puts you always on the edge of like, oh my god, I should create, I should create, I should do more. And I found myself in a place where it was just like so unhealthy for me. Like every time I was going on Instagram, I would feel my stomach twisting. I don't know if you've ever felt that way. So right now, unfortunately, I'm sort of like on an Instagram break. Well, it's weird because I still post, but like, I try not to look at people's arts, unfortunately, at the moment. Just because I need some cleansing. I need to be in a place where when I see artworks, it's like inspiring me and it's like making me want to create instead of stressing me out. So, yeah. Then there's, oh my god, I have never had a stream with this many people before. This is crazy. Okay, let's see. Um, hmm, I don't know if I like this. Maybe I could create some sort of asymmetry like this. And here I wanted to put some like bandages or something. We'll see. Okay, for now, we'll keep it that way. And I'm gonna continue blocking out this character. So let's see if I put the cylinder. I'm gonna try and give him a belt. So let's see. I wanted to try to do something like this. So let's just block out and see how it looks. Insta overdose is real. More and more people are realizing this, including me. Sometimes I just use it on desktop instead of the phone because I feel like the phone app design is more addictive as well. Yo, that is so true. Like right now, um, my... Whoa. Okay, sorry. My uh, art account is only logged in on my iPad. And, you know, I don't use my iPad as much as the phone. But, you know, that's a very good idea to just use it on a computer. That's even better. So I might just do that, honestly. Uh, yeah, I get what we're saying. I'm trying to force myself to look at it more as inspiration and motivation to get better in the future. It is tough, though, because there's so much amazing art out, out there. Taking a break definitely helps a lot. Yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> and it sucks because like i said like i really want to look at it and be inspired but i don't know i guess maybe i don't know is it because uh it's that time of the year where my stress hormones are like going everywhere i don't know maybe that's what it is and that's why i need a break right now usually i i don't need too long of a break but I'm tr I'm gonna try I'm gonna try making like I don't know maybe one week two weeks I always wanted to do like a, a social media detox but the thing is it's really hard because okay I don't have a business on Instagram per se but like I know that being active helps it, it's like building your community building people you exchange with um, getting inspired and all of that it's sort of like I don't know if you guys play a lot of video games anymore but I don't find myself playing them a lot anymore 
And I wish I was because I know this can be like a great inspiration, you know? Okay, let's see. I don't know that I like M with a big out of belt like this. Maybe if it's... Huh. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think I know what the problem is. I think the pants should be wider here. Sort of like this. And then the more we go down, the wider it gets. Like that. Okay, that's sort of better. Okay, okay. Not bad. I think I like where this is going. But I feel like it's too wide here. So, okay, we're gonna press this. Maybe it's the back that's too wide, actually. Let's press this against him a bit. Yeah, this is better. Definitely better. Okay, so I might have to press his body a bit. Actually, let me hide his body just because it's sort of distract rate, distracting right now. Okay. Oh, by the way, guys, what did you think about Dune? I haven't seen the second one, I've only seen the first one, and guess what? <laughs> I feel like people are gonna hate me for saying this, and they're probably gonna leave the stream so angry at me, but I wasn't that big of a fan of the first Dune. I don't know if it's because a lot of the things are explained in the second one. But, like, the imagery and the music is really nice. But I didn't find myself to care about these characters. Though the acting was, like, super good. It was amazing. But for some reason, other than that, like, because I didn't get into the movie too much, uh, like, for the first one, it didn't make me want to see the second one too much, but... My dad saw it and he thought it was really good, so... And he didn't like the part one, either. So well, maybe I should give it a chance, I don't know. We're gonna see it on Sunday. I hope for you there's not gonna be too many people. Because <laughs> uh, my dad told me it was crazy. The amount of people that were there. Okay, all right, so now I want to see what it looks like if, let's start and do the crown here. Oops, not this. Insert and cylinder. So for the crown, I guess it attaches on the back. Whoa. Let's rotate it. Yeah, probably something like that. Actually, the thing that's really hard right now with blocking out this character is <coughs> the fact that the uh, fur is not present sort of have to imagine it for me it's more about the music and visuals with movies everything else is just a plus really see for me it's the contrary like when i go and watch a movie i'm usually more of a story person like i'll get invested in the movie where the visual are not that great like i don't really care about them but if the story to me is amazing and like then that's fine by me. 
That is so interesting. Like sometimes I'll even be like on YouTube and watching like some people they do some amazing edits of like okay you're gonna think it sounds weird but they're using like Disney animation characters and they're making their own stories with them like sort of like a montage and they only put like subtitles you know and I'll be listening that shit <laughs> I'll be listening to that because I'm like wow the stories are so great you know Hello, Katon Laveur. All right, let's try and see. Okay, so right now what I'm figuring out is that the ears will probably have to be pushed back a bit because the bandana can't really circle his head correctly, but that's what blocking is for, you know? So let's continue just putting everything together. Oh yeah, I just love good story, but something, a fun movie is also cool, but definitely Persian music and visual. Oh yeah, <laughs> I get that. <laughs> I like a lot of bad movies too. <laughs> really? So I suppose, have you watched, what was the name of the movie? Oh my god, what was it? It's with the guy who says, I did not... I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hey, Mark. Do you know that movie? I think it's The Room. I didn't see it, but apparently it's really funny. It's a bad movie. So, if you didn't watch it, maybe you should. <laughs> uh, I think it's bigger than that. Way bigger. I've seen actually there's a movie that they did where they sort of um hmm should I block this out or should I let's move on let's continue with this one yeah I've seen the movie there's another movie that was made by James Franco that's called what is it called I don't know if it's also called the room um but yeah it's sort of like the story of the guy who made the room it's really interesting this guy really believed in his movie, that's the craziest part. I mean, I guess it's not that crazy, but... It kind of reminds me of people who would go on America's Got Talent and they would believe in themselves so much. It's like everyone else was wrong but them. Disaster Artist, yes, that's the name of the movie. Exactly. That was a good movie. Oh my god, is it gonna crash? No, it did not. You know what that means? It's time to save. Just place the earrings. <clears throat> Did you know the guy from the room addition to play the Joker? What? In the dark <laughs> night? The addition tape is online and it's hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna pull that up. What? Dark Knight Edition. What is his name? Isn't it something Lorenzo or something? I'm gonna write the room. Oh, it's this one? <clears throat> okay, wait, I'm gonna put a pause on the music for a second. Oh my god, he even did his makeup. Would Jocelyn kill you, make you stranger? Oh my god. Wait, is this? Oh, it is. Have you ever danced with a devil in the pale moonlight? Did you? No, but I did. 
There is no way this is real. There is no way this is real. This has to be a sketch. Sorry, Wiza has been publicly campaigning for one of the most iconic roles. Oh my gosh. Let's put a smile on this face. Why? So serious! Oh my god. It might be a skit. Okay. <laughs> Cause yo, there is no way this is real. There is no way. I think this guy must know at this point that he's not talented in well, I guess he's talented in some ways <laughs> for making funny movies, you know? Damn. Wow. Oh shit, let me bring back the music. It is a sketch. Five years ago, while TDK came out, the disaster artist came out in 2008. Tommy Wiseau, yes. But still, oh my god, yes. I did not <laughs> I did not hit her. Oh hi Batman. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I wonder what he does now. Maybe he's rich. I guess maybe he is I don't know. I feel like the movie the the disaster artist probably Gave him a lot of money, so... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do... Hmm. Actually, let me arrange that a bit. And maybe make it smaller. Something like that. What is your favorite part in making a character? Is it blocking? Because I hate that so much. Only when I figure it out, like when I figure out like what I'm doing, I'm like, okay, like, let's get started, like, you know. But this part, I just, it's not my favorite. Okay, let's try and extract the shaman necklace here. Like so. Track this. And something like that. For me, it's texturing. I really love texturing because that's when it all starts coming to life. Oh, for me too. Yes, definitely texturing. Isn't it crazy that... I don't know if it... <laughs> if it's the case for you but like i'm like the entire time that i'm making a character i'm just so excited for texturing that sometimes i'm scared that i'm like moving too fast you know because i'm like oh my god i, I just want to go texturing and so i feel like i'm sort of like maybe going too fast in details and i'm telling myself oh i'll do this detail in in uh substance no worries I don't know how people just spend so much time in ZBrush like for details. Okay, I don't really like this silhouette. And then basically this, the way I'm thinking of doing it is I want something like that. So that's gonna be interesting to do. And this is blue and there's the cape. So let's see, should I do the cape inside of ZBrush to see how it would look? Maybe I should. Or let's do it inside of Marvelous just to be quick. Okay, I'm gonna save this. <coughs> Sorry. And I'm gonna delete all of this and just create the cape. Uh, seen him in commercial not so long ago. The fact that he does lamb gigs every commercial baffles me. 
What? He's able to... Okay, well, of course. He's famous now, like... He can probably get commercials because they're meant to be funny. Unless it's like a... Like a very serious <laughs> commercial, then... You know. I don't know that he would book it. Right, let's try and do a circle here. And I just want to put his head on this, so... Uh... What? Cut and sue. Okay, thank you very much. And elite. Okay, let's see if I'm able to do this. I basically want to put his head on this hole so I can do the cape. Well, this is going to be a challenge for sure. Oh, wait. Maybe it's not going to be a challenge. It's actually pretty easy. Wow. There you go. <laughs> this is kind of a funny sight. Alright. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, circle is too big. Way too big. Um, <clears throat> I guess it's about finding what works in texture versus what works in sculpt. I like to jump into textures very early or just for testing. Yeah, same for me. I come from more of a VFX industry background, so it's pretty common to start look dev early. Now I'm trying to implement it into my game workflow too. Oh, I didn't know you were more into VFX. Maybe I should have known that actually, but... Interesting. Well, there you go. That worked. Okay, so now... I kind of like what it did here, but it's definitely too long. I wonder, okay, because I've never tried making a VFX character, but I've always wondered if when you're making a character for just VFX, well, not VFX, or just like a personal work, if you just don't care about topology at all, like the amounts, or if you just do a decimate altogether. I've always wondered that because if that's the case, I'm gonna do more VFX <laughs> characters, you know? Texturing is the ultimate satisf satisfaction. Finally seeing the vision after all the toil and tears. I was watching G Hill's interview with Tom Newbury, where Tom mentioned he likes doing the big details. Interesting. In ZBrush, but the crazy pixel peeping detail he did in Mary. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get that satisfaction with uh, ZBrush. I guess I was thinking about that like very recently and I don't think I have the profile of a like modeler, like sculptor person. What I realized is what I like about characters is not just the ZBrush part, it's more so of the assemble, like the whole everything that makes the character. So like, you know how some people, they just do sculpts and then, you know, they sort of, uh, they stop their sculpt and they move on to do another sculpt. Like, I don't know that I would be able to do that, just sculpts. Okay, I'm trying to see if I should do this sort of something like this and maybe what is this this is what it is maybe if I cut this shorter that could be interesting um, topology is super important for rigging and anim but definitely more of a high descent high descent my god can I talk higher density approach with more quad based and sub D topology. For example, it's totally fine to have a low poly of a few hundred K or even one million polys in VFX. Okay, I see. Je vois. Okay, it's still a bit long. Let's make it shorter. I think maybe I'm going to 
to see it in ZBrush here. How can I cut this? How can I make this work? What if this is shorter? Huh, okay, this is already better. And what about here? Okay. What if I just remove this point? Wait, I can make it into a curve. Yeah, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. And then I modify this curve. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, let me bring this. Actually, let me try another fabric for one. And actually, let's reduce the particle. And simulate. Okay, and then let's try... Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, let's try this. Let's bring it in ZBrush and see what it gives us. Cape, cape, cape. Test zero one. Okay, and let's go back. Uh, it's also totally fine to just decimate or zero mesh a personal project and simply not show the topology. As long as you can still unwrap some decent UVs, you should be good. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, Cause yeah, sometimes I'm like, I just want to do a quick character that I don't need to necessarily do all of that and just have fun with the entire design itself. So I might try to do that one time. Let's see, okay. Let's try to see how this looks with the rest of the character. And let's put the double sided. Oh, yeah, and that's what we'll top. Like this. Have you ever worked uh, in a company or a studio, I should say, where you didn't like the project, but you stayed just because you were getting paid? <laughs> Maybe that's a lot of, a lot of people <laughs> i guess we don't all have uh, especially now with the layoffs we don't have that um how can i say really a choice yeah like you already know how to do all the correct stuff so just have fun and focus on the part you love it's okay to cheat yes thank you for <laughs> giving me permission to cheat. From a 3D artist, it's really nice to hear. Okay, I think I sort of like this. So like one side, there's like, there would be the cape like this. Huh. You know, I kind of like that. Okay, and I feel like this would be more interesting if it was twisted a bit. Yeah, maybe like that. And then maybe here, this would be sort of like longer, maybe. It's kind of giving Beerus vibes from Dragon Ball with this thing here. Yeah, that's pretty standard to not like a project. Damn, yeah. Because I was, I'm, I'm pretty lucky, like in the company that I'm at right now. I like the project. Um. Yeah, I've always wondered, like, because, yeah, I don't know. I've always wondered if I went in another company and I like the project and then it's over and they switch the project for one that I didn't like, if I would stay or if I would look elsewhere, you know? Okay, let's bring this like this. Okay, not bad. Not 
that. I like that. But that means, okay, so now that I have this cape cutting sort of the outfit here, I feel like I'm gonna have to do something because for the shirt itself, I did the opening on the other side. So maybe, I'm <laughs> sorry, I'll have to do it on the other side instead. And should the shirt actually come out of the pants here? Huh, see? Maybe I do like blocking after all. <laughs> it's not that bad. Okay, this is interesting. And I don't know if I should make it come out on this side as well, but... Okay, not bad. Is it scary for any of you, all these layoffs? Or do you feel pretty confident? at your job at the moment. Okay, let's see, how am I going to do this? So I wanted to do... Where is it? Hmm. Should I do all of this? If I do some ropes here, that could be interesting. I'm going to try... Where is that brush? I'm gonna try putting a cylinder here. And ah, should I do this? Yes, I should. Yes, yes, and yes, and there we go. Um, <laughs> definitely depends on the situation. If you have a good team, work environment, and get paid well, then it's totally worth to stay. That's true. That is very true. For the money, <laughs> not just the money, obviously, but yeah. Uh, some things the opposite happens to where it's cool project, but the environment isn't too good. Oh my god, I feel like that would be even worse to not like the environment than the project because like you're going to work depressed because i don't know what have your teammates or i don't know not good people that would really suck If I do this, <coughs> okay. Wait, let me give this a color. What if it's a darker blue, sort of like dirty? Hmm, it's kind of blending with the shirt, but. Yeah, the layoffs are pretty scary. I'm unfortunate. I'm fortunate enough to be a good at a good place now, so I think I'm good. Really sad for all the artists out there, though. Yeah, I know, right? And apparently, all of that because of, like, I don't know if it's true. If it's really because they hired too many people during COVID, or if it's because they're not making the same amounts than during COVID. Oh my God. No, there's no way it's crashing. There is no way. Thank you. you. Sometimes you just have to give ZBrush a little bit of attitude and it stops. Um, what was I saying? We were talking about the layoffs. But yeah, I feel like... Oh yeah, I wasn't sure if it's like because of the pandemic, like if they hired too many people or... If it's because they're not making the same amount of money during the pandemic and you know they're like oh my god we're not making as much but they're still making a lot so they're like cutting everywhere or maybe it's both and they're just you know being business people i don't know that i like this but we'll just go ahead and continue with it uh, let's see. What if I ch 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 do something where... Hmm. 
because this guy has a lot of fabric here but i feel like all of this will be lost because there's already so much fabric going on you know so maybe i should really just do a little ropes like this that could be more interesting than just having little tiny fabrics like that and the other thing is uh, there's a belt and then there's this maybe th oh yeah this i think there's a lot of factors at play so probably a bit of truth in all of the current speculations interesting <coughs> Uh, all right, <clears throat> let's insert a little ball here. So here I'm going to do my little ocarina. So let's do the taper. Something like that. And then like this. And then can I squish this? Maybe like this. Uh, smaller. Uh, I gotta just hope for the best and keep moving one foot in front of the other. Yeah, that's true. That's honestly the only thing we can really do right now. It's sort of like out of our power too. It's kind of like what is scary about it as well. Hmm. Why is it looking weird? I don't know. Maybe if it was on the other side. Because there's already so much going on here. Well, maybe if I put this here just maybe it's a possibility huh we'll keep it here for now um okay we have this we have that oh yeah and I'm just missing some of the details on his belt okay let's see um, let's just take a tube. What are you working on right now? What is the project in the work? I'm gonna have to ask all of you to share this with me during the streams because if I do take my <laughs> my social media detox, I'm not even gonna be able to see any works anymore. And play this invert that. Why are the extremities okay? Whatever. So what if I have something like this going on and then you know, I would have like multiple ropes. Sort of like this. How would it look? Huh, I feel like here it's probably because there's a lot. Maybe if it was just on the one side. And okay, we'll see. I'm trying to get back to a piece I started last year. It's Seb from SW Rebels. Still got a lot to fix and redo, but it's getting there. Zeb from SW Rebels. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to check who that is. Zeb from SW Rebels. Oh, Star Wars? Is it the Clone Wars? Or is, well, not. Oh, Rebels. Star Wars. Oh my god, it's even in the title. I'm just stupid. Let 
Interesting. You know what? I've always wanted to be able to watch the... What was it? The Clone Wars? Because everyone have been telling me how good it was and everything. And you know what I ended up doing? I just watched the final season of it. <laughs> I cheated. I'm sorry. Uh, after reaching your dream job, do you have a new goal and dreams? And do you feel satisfied? I do. I actually do have uh, new goals and dreams. Um, actually, it's to get into a certain studio. I'm not gonna say which one, although I'm pretty sure it's obvious. And uh, yeah, I don't want to say more because I I'm always scared of jinxing. By the way, guys, uh, wait, let me see. Can I? Can I do this? Can I? Can I? Can you see my face? Yes. All right, guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to end the stream here. I gotta go. Um, but I do hope you enjoyed the first stream on YouTube. Thumbs up if you did. I don't know if thumbs ups matter on YouTube, but anyways, doesn't matter. You don't have to thumbs up. But if you want to see more streams, please uh, do subscribe. I'll be doing more in the future for sure. This is only part one for this character. And yeah, I'll be keeping you all up to date. Okay guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you the next one.